cheers, guys. Welcome. <sighs> Hello, everybody. I am um, committing an act of sin, and I am drinking water during tea time. At least you're not drinking it out of a mug. I know. But I'm very dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> we spent all afternoon making this. And the Sharpie markers, they, uh, they whiff in a little bit. <laughs> so Don't for do Lippy. it. Mm. All right, guys. Hi, Tea Time with Team Epicurees. If you are just tuning in for the very first time, welcome. Hello. This is our weekly live video chat where we sort of hang out with you guys and talk YA. And, and talk fun things. book nerds. Yay! So Woohoo, Epicurees. Um, and today, this week's hashtag to chat with us and your fellow book nerds is YA Jeopardy. You guys take a look at that. Tweet at us. Tweet at friends. Margo, why are we using hashtag YA Jeopardy? Well, Aubrey, <laughs> let me tell you. This week we are going to play YA, YA Jeopardy! Jeopardy! Yay! Yay! And it's pretty self-explanatory, but we will get to that in a mm -hmm. moment because we have some new releases this week. Yay! Which ones I'm very excited about. Finally, you can do the honors. Boom! <laughs> it's here, guys. Have you read it? <laughs> Have you? You should. Chapter 62. Ha! 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 Yay! All right, we're just checking in with Twitter, making sure everything is working. Okay. Awesome sauce. We are so good to go. Do a little YA book shimmy if you have Unravel Me and you've already done with it. I am. I am. I am. I read chapter 62 again last night. Were you just up all night? Well, I've read it. Is that why you're dehydrated? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I am dehydrated because of chapter 62. TMI on oh, TMI. <laughs> um, what's next? People who are on Instagram. Oh yes, if you got a copy of Unravel Me, either an ebook form, whatever form, whatever copy of Unravel you have, and you're on Instagram, tweet us or Instagram it. Instagram with hashtag Unravel Me contest, and you'll be entered to win a hundred dollar gift certificate to Mod Cloth. Awesome! It's one of Tahara's favorite lines. You know, she's a fashionable lady with her shoes. So we just want to share a little fashion love with you guys. Um, also this week, the new Sarah Shepard, Pretty Little Liars. Mm -hmm. Cross my heart, hope to die. Um, also on Twitter, they're hosting a giveaway. Uh, at Lion Game is doing a giveaway of this book right now. We are also doing a giveaway of the first four copies of Lion Game on Story Crush. All you have to do is go to the blog, find the post, and it's uh, tell us your biggest lie you've ever told. Ooh. And that's your entry. <gasps> I think the biggest lie I that's ever told was fourth grade when I cheated on a geography test. Oh, mine is, um, and then I, I lied about it. Mine, then I got caught. Mine's like grade school too. For some reason, I did my whole entire science project, and then as I was walking in the bus, I just threw it into the woods for no reason. But then, did you lie about it? Yeah, I was like, sorry, I didn't do it. And my, they call my mom. My mom's like, she did do it. <laughs> what? I don't know what's wrong with me. So share your biggest lie, and you'll be entered to win. Not this book, but Sarah Shepard's other series, Lion Game, books one through four. I'm checking on Twitter to talk to you guys. I'm not being rude. We're doing phones. Yeah. We're doing phones because we're mobile. More, we have lots of stuff and we want to we be mobile. We have no space. Um, also new this week, <gasps> High Fantasy Fans, City of a Thousand Dolls by Miriam Forster. I have heard it being compared to um, Tamora Pierce, Sydney yeah. Khan, Cinder Williams Chima, like. I read Ray it. Carson, Grace, uh, Kristen Cashor. You read it. I read it yesterday. And you enjoyed it? I enjoyed it so very, very, very much. Especially because I'm missing Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. So it fed that need. Uh, it's awesome. And she, the main character, like, can talk to cats, right? Yes. She can ah. sense to cats, which is really cool. The premise is that she is in this, this city of girls who have been outcasts, and so they're they're unwanted, they're orphans, and so they're trained in different kind of specialties where they can be sold for money. Ooh. Like beauty, you know, healing, all those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. um, and she's kind of the only one that's trained. She's, you know, she's a question mark. She's trained in everything, and maybe she saves them. I don't know. Well, that's... I don't know, it's real good. <laughs> so, if you guys want to know, that's on sale this week. Yeah. Um... We've got a bunch of stuff for that. We've got this cool map mm -hmm. and all the houses. Quote cards for the houses that the girls study in. Mm -hmm. um, it's all up on Pitch Dark. You can go to the blog and check that out. Um, okay. I'm oh, yeah, checking also, in and um, check in. Yeah. Jin, and a YA outs. sisterhood says, I really hope my toddler sleeps the whole normal so I can stay the whole time. We do too. Sleep, toddler. Sleep, child. Sleep. 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 Sle
white noises. <laughs> um, if I could do rainy mood sounds, I would. Uh, Cat Vela 9 is loving the Lion Game series. The cliffhanger of the last book was killer! Oh, I... Hmm. Yeah. Those yeah. series, those shows, pretty much anything Sarah Shepard does. Yeah, yeah. It's good She's stuff. Awesome. You get addicted. Um, okay, let's see. Um... Cats. Lillian Chang wrote Cats. I need to get myself a copy of City of Thousand Dolls. <laughs> I know, right? If only... Okay. Future writers out there, write a character that can talk to hedgehogs. Yes. And we will do an entire Tea Time episode Epic dedicated Reed's to challenge. it. <laughs> Epic Reads Challenge. challenge. <laughs> um, also, else? this week, just one last quick thing. Um, the end is here. We just did two weeks for the Unearthly series. Goodbye, Unearthly... And the next two weeks, we are group hugging the Full Moon series by Ellen Schreiber. And this Do you is... want to group hug it right now? Let's group hug it. <laughs> <laughs> um, werewolves, paranormal. This is a good, like, clean paranormal romance if you're looking for one of those. Um, anyway, so anybody who goes and uh, chats on the Full Moon forums... For end is here, we'll be automatically entered to win a signed copy of Full Moon Kisses. So yeah. that's pretty awesome. And we've got giveaways, we've got blog posts coming up, and posts from Ellen herself. So stay tuned. And if Good you stuff. read this series, come, come, Group come be your friends. Us. Yeah. <laughs> All right. um, I'm checking in the Twitter. There's tons of City of a Thousand Dollars book love. At in the window seat says major book list for major. Major. All right. Um, should we get into this? Yeah, because I, I, I will do a break. Yes. Okay. We'll do a break. All right. So here's how why Jeopardy's gonna work. We have four categories. Sorry you can't read them. Um, but it says it's our first time. Bear with us. It might be a little rocky. It's gonna be a little <laughs> rocky. And if this goes well, we're gonna do it again and like sort of up the ante. A we'll little have bit. daily doubles. <laughs> yeah. Where we like the video, the video daily double, except we'll have to act out scenes from books. Yeah. It'll be great. You know my acting skills are excellent. <laughs> Um, so our categories are Re retellings, Ooh. Ah. author facts, Ooh. rise is in quotation marks, and if you're a Jeopardy fan, you know that the answer contains rise, and coming soon. So those are our four categories. So what is going to happen is you guys are going to tweet at us and... At YA... Jeopardy. And we and um, we'll just pick whoever we see first, uh, selects a category and then a number, and we will ask the question and then whoever answers correctly, the first one we see the in first our one feed. we see in our feed and grab will that gets it right will win a prize at the end, which is going to be two arcs. Two, two arcs. arcs. Of upcoming releases. Did we bring them? No, I don't think we brought them. But but, but make it a secret. It's Valentine's Day. We'll make it a secret. Oh yeah, we'll make it a secret. Lover. Little blind date arcs. So um, you won't know what you're getting, but you're it, it's it's gonna it's be good. good. Um, so there will be 16 winners. Yep. And mind us, we are picking people on the fastest that comes into our stream. So don't yes. get mad at us. <laughs> yeah. So we apologize <laughs> if you were in fact the first person to respond but it didn't show up because our you know those buzzers is, on jeopardy are, aren't fair know, either too so all right okay. so let's get started let's uh pick a category and a number tweet at us at y a jeopardy which category retelling author facts rise uh coming soon and a number that you want first and we'll get this Party all right. started. brookworm 33 says retellings number three Alrighty. Do, 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 do. He was the original author of The Mask of the Red Death. Go. Go. Do, 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 do. You want to repeat the question? Do, 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 do. He was the original author of The Mask of the Red Death. Makeshift Jen. Yeah. Who is Edgar Allan Poe? Correct. Correct. The Mask of the Red Death? By, by Bethany, Bethany Griffin. Griffin. Awesome book. Woo! Ready? Um, okay, uh, we'll have to, we'll take a little quick break because the person who selected that category, book, Brookworm33, ooh, sent Snarkles, sent Snarkles a little care package this week. Oh! Can you see that? We stole them. They're cookies for him. Hedgehog cookies, so. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Speaking of snorkels, can we get a little snorkel vlog? Yeah. And right. you guys tweet at us the next category and then tweet the next number. category. Mm -mm 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 -mm. These are like our little commercial breaks. I know. Yep. Dum 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 dum. Brought dum, to you by <laughs> hedgehogs everywhere. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. You pick a category and a number. Retellings, author facts, rise and coming soon. One All right. Uh, books with casts re re requested coming soon. Number two. That's your side, man. All right. Whoops, I ripped it. <gasps> Do -do. Okay. Every boy category. vanishes at midnight on his 18th birthday in this upcoming release. Repeat the question and I will look at Twitter. Every boy vanishes at midnight on his 18th birthday in this upcoming Harper Teen release. Do do do. This is, we should make just a song for how long it takes Twitter to update. I know, right? We just need better Wi Fi in here. Yeah. Do do do. Oh, do. in the window seat. In the window seat. What is taken by Aaron Bowman? Uh, boom. Correct. Um, Aaron Bowman, if I'm correct, is a frequent tea time viewer. She is a frequent tea time viewer. So if, so if you're, you're watching, Erin, hello. Hi. And uh, we're super excited to read this one. And this one comes out in April. When does it come out? April 16th. Ooh, close to my birthday. Nice. What's up? Lucky you. I know. Um, she likes gifts. So if you guys follow her on Twitter, send her gifts and yeah. the gifts. All right, pick it. Send us the next category. All right. Margo, what would you What would I do, do if all the boys were taken on yes. their 18th birthday? <laughs> well, do they come back as men or do they just leave? I, don't I think know. they just leave. Then we wouldn't have any I know. men like this. And that would make me say it. But some people would be happy without men. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to check in. Okay. Just Next what... category, um, Emily Ellsworth at M's Reading Room requested retellings number one. Retellings number one. I'm going to eat some more head. Okay, ready? I ate his face off. <laughs> <laughs> this classic story is the basis for the YA debut, The Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepard. Repeat. This classic story is the basis for the YA debut, The Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepard. Alright. Oh, somebody guessed Frankenstein. That is no, not correct. Not correct. We still do, got do, we still do, got do, it. Let's see. Do, do. Although I Celeste Pewter. Pewter. Um The Island of Dr. Moreau. Correct. correct. Congratulations. Um, you have won yourself two arcs. Woo! <laughs> the Mad Men's Daughter is a retelling of the Island of, of Dr. Dr. Moreau. Although or it's not a retelling, it's sort of like a sequel. Or like a, yeah. An it's extension. in the world. Yes. Yeah. It's like this, but then. And it's great. Extended. And he <laughs> is real crazy. And there's two more books coming. And the Frankenstein is, I believe, one yeah. of the, re so. She's going to be doing other uh, classic retellings. So, congratulations, Celeste. All right, guys. Um, so, you we got. We uh, select another category again: retellings, author facts, rise, and coming soon. Oh, Daisy requested Ooh. coming soon number four. Go for it. Look at this. We're leaving the middle categories. Mm -hmm. All, All right. right, here we go. Coming soon. This book takes place in 2051. This is a tough one. It's coming soon. Coming soon. This book takes place in 2051. Checking Twitter. Oh, Hannah Taylor at oh. Inky Reads. That was quick. What is Pulse by Patrick Carmen? Correct. Pulse. Correct, Hannah. Uh, this is considered a dystopian set in the not too distant future. I always think of 2051 as being like, oh my god, that's so far away. We're but then it's gonna I'm be like, alive. Yeah, we're gonna be alive and we're gonna be old and it's gonna be real weird. Um, and it's like really realistic stuff is happening, like things that you can see happen. Like nobody reads physical books anymore it's all on like tablets so and it's, it's just no like a different than today <laughs> it's just like a slow <laughs> uh progression i love me my hard books mm. i can't i stare at a screen all day and i just want my mm -hmm. paper when i come back so congratulations Anna. next next category sorry and a mouthful of hedgehog author i'm gonna do that retellings author facts coming soon eat the butt eat the butt hedgehog butt <laughs> yeah hedgehog butt <laughs> You Book shaming. Watch me so creepy, dude. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like watching people eat. <laughs> okay. Um. We have uh, Tiff Ing at Mostly Why Lit requests author facts number one. Yeah. All right, guys. What's the question? 
This end is here author is obsessed with horses. Hey, who is it? I should make a horse sound. End is here. It's our. You know, we talked about it with full moon kisses and unearthly. And unearthly, think about the books that we are saying goodbye to this year. And this author loves horses. Mm -hmm. In fact, her author photo, another clue, is her with a horse. horse. Um, do you love horses? Have you ridden horses? True story. Get to know Margo moment here. I rode horses for about 10 years. Get out of here. <laughs> yes, I can ride bareback, bitches. Nice. <laughs> um, I come from the country and I can Dang. ride a horse, Dang. but I don't do it well because horses like hate me. I love them, but they hate me. All right, so who is that author, guys? Can you guys figure it out? Do, do, do. Nick at Disturbingly Nick wrote, who is Courtney Allison Moulton? Correct. Ding, 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 ding. Congratulations. Um, you and are a winner. Her series is the Angel Fire series. Angels Luke. and Reapers and Kigassery. Look at that beautiful Abounds. red hair. Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty. I'm reading this right now. I'm the newbie to this series. I'm actually reading this book currently right now. And I like it. I like me some kick-ass leaves. Another category selection, please. Do, 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 do. While we check in on the Twitters. Your iPad is much faster than my phone. I know, right? Should I just stop looking? Blythe wants to know why everyone is so fast at typing, you're all superhuman. That's what I feel like the people <gasps> on the buzzers are like. I know, I'm like, how did like that one guy gets it? Every time. Fast. I know. I love Jeopardy. Me too. <laughs> Although, can I just say Jeopardy over Wheel of Fortune any day? Yes, but I want Pat Sajak to host Jeopardy. Can I? I want Vanna White to come on Tea Time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, look, look. Mm, Our next sorry, category. Sorry, sorry. I was busy eating hedgehogs. Okay. Um, Sharon at, at Stars Aloft says, "I loved horses until I went to school with a huge equestrian program. Now I'm sick of hearing about them." Michelle, <laughs> I'm from Florida. Is it UF by any chance? <laughs> Michelle says horses hate her too. I got bucked off. Getting bucked off is the worst. Um, my best friend had a horse, and every time I would ride it, it would find a, a pole or a tree and rub my leg up against it. Yeah. And it tried to that. it tried to walk me into a. That's river. why you gotta you know gotta show them who's boss. I'm not assertive. Well, <laughs> fix that. I'm All right. Just so in awe of their beauty. Um, Corey requests rise number two. Do 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 do. Question. Oh. Tell me how you feel about me. This book is set in Norway. Ooh, it's a good one. I know it. This I book know. is set in Norway. And this is from the category rise. rise. In quotation marks. Shh, don't tell rise. Do, 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 do. I'm just going to go through. Ooh, somebody just tweeted that they have five Mustangs. Dude, that's awesome. What? <laughs> Lillian Chang said Valkyrie Rising. Yay, Lillian Chang. You are correct. correct. Valkyrie Rising by Ingrid Paulson is a paranormal, uh... Valkyries. Oh, yeah, Valkyries. <laughs> I was trying to think Norse, of another one. It's word. Norse mythology. Yes. And the, the prequel Loki. short story about, called um, Valkyrie, Valkyrie Symptoms, Symptoms just went on sale for on the Harper Teen Impulse, mm -hmm. so it's I think it's only 99 cents Yeah. Um, for e-readers. So. And it takes place uh, In, like five hours before this book starts. Yeah, the, the prequel does. This book, I have not heard a bad review about this book. People just seem to love it. If you just like good, sort of funny, I don't know, just really good good, good stories. And Andrew Paulson's really cool. Awesome. Um, so congratulations, Lillian. Next category. Do you tweet at us at Y. Let's see if we can trend this time. I always feel bad for people during um, tea I time. I, I bet their feeds are just like, what is happening? Well, now that it's, like, just random answers. <laughs> I know. We were like, what about Valkyrie Rising? Like, what yeah. about it? <laughs> um, okay, guys. Yes, but let's see. Author, fa oh, no, we're all. Gabby at Ella B. Reads requested Rise 3. Ooh. Are we going to sweep a category here? Are we going to sweep a category? I feel like if we sweep a category, we will have to have a little dance break. Yeah. All right. This is Kelly Armstrong's current paranormal series. Now, we need the name of the series. Not her book, but her series. Thank you for cl clarifying, Margo. I had to clarify it for myself. That was the question. <laughs> and go. Go. The last book in the series is coming up soon. Yes. I'm excited for it. Is it it's, Megan it's, at Book Bratz. Oh, oh, I lost it. Megan at Book Bratz says... 
Darkness Rising. Correct. Correct. Boom. The Rising. And the final book comes out April 9th, and it's called The Rising. So, Darkness it's rising, rising, The Rising, rising but not and Rise. The category is Rise. Get it? Get right? it? Ah. Get it? Ah. Ha <laughs> ha. Books ah. are fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Next category. Next category. category. Um, I'm going to eat another. Da, 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 da. Hedgehog butt bite. Wow, you guys all got Darkest Rising. You guys are so awesome. Mm-hmm. We love you. I'm going to do a book show. Books are guys. fun. Yeah, they are, Gabby. Books are fun. <laughs> book nerds rule. Yeah. We decided to adopt the whole book nerd hashtag, and we're just going to, like, make it part of our whole, like, we, we want to make t-shirts and, like, a mm-hmm. Tumblr and all that stuff. Well, you're allowed to just claim those things. Yeah. It's the internet. Whatever. Um, Holly at Bookish Musings requested Rise 4. Ooh, we're getting almost to a sweep. All right. Damon, get off the screen and back into my bed. <laughs> Pardon me. The events... You're getting... <laughs> Saucy. Uh, the events in this book are real. That it's is in... your only clue. Quotes. For the whole so... thing. Jeopardy fans. The events in this book are real. I feel like I make a little bunny. Fuck's it. <laughs> I just made a Wayne's World reference. Oh, I thought you were saying fuck's it. Lady. Lady. Yeah, when he sings. Oh, fuck's okay. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure. Okay. The events in this, this book are real. This one's a, a little hard. This one is a little bit hard. Yeah. But I guess. Random category. readers were, said Rising Sun. Incorrect. Not correct. Oh, I can't read. But that's a good rise. That is a good rise. We were going to do that one. But then we couldn't because rise in in ing. The events of this book are real. Remember, this is the category rise. And it's in quotes, so the word rise appears in the title. (laughs) Jamie Arkin. What is the rise of nine? Correct, Jamie Arkin. Correct. Um, it is the most recent book in the I Am Number 4 series. <laughs> Love it. That's the international edition. Of it the is? Book. It is. Cool beans. Isn't that cool? Um, can I just say that I love Pitticus Lore's voice? I haven't heard it. Like, the voice recordings that he makes are a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, he, he should do he a does, like, book greeting. audiobook. He's like, greetings or things. <laughs> I am your master, Pitticus Lore. Does it really sound like that? Yeah, well, Someone I mean, me, does it really sound like that? You know my acting skills are on par 100%. Why a book nerd lover says she's not doing very good at this. She needs to brush up on her YA facts. Brush up, because we plan on doing this again soon, you guys. If you guys like it. <laughs> Maybe we'll do this at BEA. <gasps> like a, With authors. Like an in real life. No, it's just people at oh, BEA. okay. Maybe we can have authors, like, come by and, like, do the special video, yeah. video uh, <laughs> double Jeopardy. Question. They just pop out and they read a question. Yeah, and then they go back to okay. the hole they came from. Categories, so. everybody. Categories. Submit um, to hashtag YA Jeopardy. Mm-hmm. Everybody keeps talking about this YA book nerd t-shirt. Oh, yeah. We'll work on it. And we will get your, uh, we will have, maybe we'll have, like. We'll just make them. We'll have, like, a design contest. Yeah, that'd be fun. Or they could just be our giveaways. Well, yeah, well, but we can have them design a yeah. shirt. Yeah. Them. The them. internet. You. We heart you. Okay, category. Um, Kelsey, retelling number two. Woo! All right. At Twiddle McNugget. Oh, my gosh, that is an awesome, <laughs> awesome, awesome Twitter name. All right, ready, guys? Yes. This Neverland resident is the narrator of Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson. You guys hear that? What is the answer? This Neverland resident is the narrator of Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson. Uh, This was one of Margot and I's favorite books of last year. Um, Jamie Arnold, what is Tinkerbell? What is Tinkerbell? Correct. Correct. Incidentally, here's the book. Here's the cover. Oh, we had a book ball. Book ball. I'll get it. I'll get it. Um, Tinkerbell's my favorite character in the book. Dude, she's awesome. She is like one of my she's, favorite narrators. She's of all super time. sassy in yes. the book, and she's a little bit like, like uh, she get, like uh, likes to get revenge and yeah, she and you takes definitely sides. yeah, you definitely feel her point of view. And then when you've done the book, totally. you're like, maybe that was a little skewed. <laughs> but but the whole time she like sort of changes her opinion of character. Yeah. She isn't very. She's not very one dimensional at all. No, it's excellent. She has more than one dimension. She's dimensional. And t- Tinkerbell is just a fun character in life. She's awesome. Okay, next category. 
Uh, if we finish the rise or the retelling, we get a dance break. Mm-hmm. So tweet at us at YA Jeopardy. 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 Do people still watch Jeopardy? I, I DVR Jeopardy. I'm not kidding when I say I love it. <laughs> And you should compete. You should, like, try to No, I can't. It. I'm not that smart. I'm no person that, like, screams things that don't even... Like, I'm I like, Richard like... III, and their answer is, like, plutonium. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Da -da, da -da. Come on, internet. Load. Dude, this is a Kate Middleton dance break. Do you know if you shake your iPad, the internet will go faster? Yeah? Yeah. Let me see if I can pull it. <laughs> yeah, we can... How many devices do we have here? Boom. Do-do-do-do. Okay. Um, my phone. Yeah, I'm just seeing the answers for... Oh, I saw it. Rise. Oh, wait, no, wait. That was 16 minutes ago. <laughs> Loading. Dance break. Don't have ABC. Ah, so uh, here we go. Um, coming oh. soon, number three. That's the first one I saw. Okay. All right. Uh, YA Novelty says she doesn't have ABC, so she watches Jeopardy Online. Way do to you be resourceful. play Jeopardy Online? I sometimes do that. Not at work, though. Never at work. <laughs> Don't watch this, bosses. All right. Coming soon. An upcoming thriller about a girl living in a futuristic Manhattan, which has been besieged by a catastrophic flood known as the Washout. Mm -mm, what mm -mm, is mm -mm. this book? Name, name that book. Name that book. Margot is super excited about this book. I if am. If you're a tea time watcher, you will know it. Boom, 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 Um, what's the answer? Brooke, Brooke, oh, what, can we have double winners? She's the first one I saw. Negatron. Negatron. Crystal, get lost in fiction. The ward. Boom. Boom. You are correct. Um, where did it go? Right here. It's under, oh, it's under the cookies. The ward. Um, uh, this is definitely one that we're super excited about. It comes out, uh, April 30th, 20. Thirteen. I'm really excited because and we live in New York. I like reading books where um you the live. city where yeah. you live. That's the tagline. New York has been washed out, which is a little scary. And given so is my skin <laughs> washed out. What's up? Um, All right. Okay. Next, so we got category. next category. Broken. Yes. No double winners. But yes, of course you can still keep playing. Obby. Yeah. Everybody play forever and play this in your book clubs. Wouldn't this be fun for a book club thing? Yes. Meet up or class or whatever. Just hang out. Friday night. You know. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. Somebody just uh, said that they're totes recovering from dark days last night. <gasps> Have oh. you guys been seeing the dark days? Did you see Allie? Did you say hi? Did you see Snarkles? Did um, you squeeze little Snarkles clone? <laughs> But if you're following, if you can't go, you should follow Pitch Dark Books on Twitter because uh, Allie, who's on tour with all the authors, is doing a really good job of tweeting photos and the live event. Yeah, so. we're definitely like stalking, being like, oh. oh. Bookish feminist requested author fact number dose. Ooh. Wow, nobody wants us to do a dance break. What's up? Because it's not true to the Jeopardy style, maybe. Are we bad at dancing? You guys just don't all right, you guys, tell us? Are you ready for this one? Number right. two. I'm emotionally prepared. This author yes. has a pet ferret named Todd. <laughs> I know who this is. Uh, 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 uh. I'll repeat it. This author has a pet ferret named Todd. Hmm. With two Ds. Are there any I famous believe. Todds? Todd Hardy. Who's Todd Hardy? Guys, seriously, can we all have a collective head shake? What is it? No! <laughs> Oh, no, wait, it's not Todd Hardy. It's Tom Hardy. Oh, my God. <laughs> head shake at me. Ready? Head shake at mm. me. All right, I accept the head shake. I know, I know me some Tom Hardy. <laughs> Tom Hardy. Todd Hardy is his alter ego. Duh. Everyone Duh. knows that. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Megan, or Christina Megan at Reader Fiction says, who is Jody Meadows? That is correct. correct. She has ferrets. One of them na is named Todd. Uh, and she is the author of the Incarnate series. Which... And Asunder, which just came out last week. And Jody center. was in her office last week. And you had some fun with her. We, I did have some fun with her. Um, and she knit Snarkles a, a little crown and um, a cape. It's, it's we, really awesome. I know. It's really exciting. I'm really excited to debut. We'll debut. Yeah. We'll have a little Snarkles fashion show soon. Ooh. New idea yeah. for tea time. <laughs> All right. Okay. We, got, we only have uh, oh, five questions left. Oh, wow. This has been going for a while. We should probably pick it up. Okay. okay. 
We'll go faster. Sorry. Boop, 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 boop. Um, Is your toddler soon? still asleep? Hannah Taylor, coming soon, number one. Finishing a category. Oh, That's you, man. Okay. Here we go. Ready? This oh. book tells a story of a girl who has the ability to see outcomes of the choice she has to make. Also, it comes out this month. <gasps> Actually, I think it comes out next week. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, that's still this month. Hands free Jeopardy. Boom, 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 boom. Repeat the question. Tells this, this book tells a story of a girl who has the ability to see outcomes of a choice she has to make. Also, it comes out this month. Cubicle blindness? Yep. Says pivot point. Boom. You are correct, though. Congratulations. All right, next category. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. You guys select the next category while we do a little dance, dance break. break. Well, to do very tiny. <laughs> Oh right, pivot point. I have to show you guys. Pivot oh, point. pivot point. Because that was the last. Um, I we both read it. Yes, and I liked this book a lot. It was um, it was a lot more affecting to me because it there's divorce is a very yeah. big central theme in it, and mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm a product of divorce. Basically, this girl so. has the ability to see her futures based on a choice that she has to make, and her parents are getting divorced, and she's trying to decide which choice to live with. So she sees both, and that's the basis of the book. Yeah. All right, next category. Somebody said our cameras went out. Are we still? Are we still live? Are we still live? I guess we are. Okay, rise number one. The second book in a paranormal series set in New Orleans. Uh-oh. Here we go. Are we okay. still going? Yeah. Are we still going? Are we still live? Let us know. And the question is, the second book in a series, a paranormal series, set in New Orleans. Okay, well, it's a check. Do we we want to make sure that we're us. still live. Oh, Sarah, Forever 17 Books, What is Arise by yeah, Tara Hudson? You are correct. You are correct, sir. This is what... Madam. You are correct. <laughs> he thinks you're sexy for being smart. He wants to suck your blood. Yeah. Uh, this is a great... It's ghosts. Ghosts in New Orleans. Voodoo. Voodoo. The first book is called Hereafter. The final book is called Elegy. Mm -hmm. And that comes out soon. This, this year. Yep. All right, Lots guys. We have three left. Two in author facts and one in retellings. So I wish I could just keep him right here. So, we just, so you guys know. Tweet at us. Tweet at us. Um... I'm out of water, but I want to eat more cookies. So eat more cookies. But I can't eat more Retellings cookies. Retellings number four. Okay. Finishing out the category. Ready? Yes. This, ooh, this one's a tough one. Maybe. Okay. A retelling of the 12 dancing princesses. Yeah, that one is a little bit hard. And it's our book. It's a Harper Teen book. Yes. Uh, so get at us. The retelling of the 12 dancing princesses. And this is a, uh, that is a grim, um, a grim fairy tale. It is? Yes. I don't know it was grim. And it is real messed up. I read this book. Are. I read the answer and I loved it. Yeah? Yeah, it was actually really, really I good. haven't read it, but I this <laughs> this mm. um Jessica Jackson. What is entwined? Correct. Correct. Entwined by Heather Dixon. This co cover is so cool. So does she in the book um like are there princes that are, she's going she's to the Yep. And she's going to a party and dancing her shoes? Yep. Bear? Oh my goodness. Yep. It's, Do they kill the people that can't figure out where she's going? I don't remember. Oh man, okay. I'm gonna, this just became really high on my list. It's a good book. Yeah. It's a really good book. Okay. It's a good single book. No. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I want, to, I'm gravitating towards standalones. Right Me too. Total standalone moment. All right, we got two left, both on author They're facts. Back. Do you want three or four? Three or four. Number four. Number four. Ready? He, this is hard, too. Mm. This yeah. author still works as a child and family therapist specializing in abuse and neglect. This author. If nobody gets it right away, we'll give you another clue. Still works. As a child and family therapist specializing in abuse and neglect. Neglect? Do, 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 do. Um, it also, in the question, it says he still works. So there you that go. Helps. That's your other clue. He, he still works as a child and family therapist specializing in abuse and neglect. Which is pretty cool. To think. It is. I like knowing that authors have sort of like double lives. Like they're author by yeah. day. Like Jocelyn Davies is an author. <laughs> Woo! 
Careful. But she's also... Hold this. I just knocked over her. Aubrey's failing at life. Um, <laughs> it's the cookies in the lack of touch. water. Don't touch. Don't touch my things. Lillian says, I fail at author facts. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We, um, I mean, we had to look these up. We could, we, we didn't just write yeah. these from memory. They're not, they all can't be easy. Everyone's having oh, a hard time with Ashley this. Ashley Sweet. Who is Chris it's Crutcher? Crutcher. Correct! Period 8 is coming out. I am so April excited one. for this. We are very excited, and we love Chris Crutcher, and we're going to um, be bringing a lot more with him because he really knows what he's talking about, and he goes into serious issues. He doesn't, like, dance around the issues. He, like, hits them hard. Like, and real face. Real talk with Chris Crutcher. Real talk with Chris Crutcher. We should do that. We real should. talk with Chris Crutcher. Yeah, we should. Any other Chris Crutcher fans out there? I sort of feel like we need to, like, amass the Chris, Chris Crutcher, Crutcher fans. fans. I'm a newbie to his stuff, so I want to know, what do you guys recommend? Tweet at me. Okay. Okay. Final category. Go for it. The category is author facts. Oh, it's... That was like the hard category everybody was Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Oh, wait. Do we have the book? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm so glad this is the last one. I am too. All right. Perfect. In addition to writing New York Times bestsellers, this author is the co-founder of Paper Lantern Lit. Do, 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 do. You guys are allowed to Google. You can Google these facts. Shh. No. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, Google them if you didn't know them. Yeah. But if you knew them. <laughs> Then, ah, tape then why would you Google it All if right. you already knew it? In addition to writing New York Times bestsellers, this author is the co-founder of Paper Lantern Lit. Um, why a bibliophile? Yeah. Heidi, who is Lauren Oliver. <laughs> Correct. Correct. And exciting. Look what I we just got. Look, it's the hardcover <laughs> of Red <Requiem. laughs> Um... Margo, yes. That hardcover looks a little thicker it than our art. A little thick. Why is that, well, Aubrey? I, I don't know. Can you look and see? Because there's a short story about Alex in the back. Ah! <laughs> so here's the deal. What we just found out and are allowed to share with you yeah. that the first printing, hardcover printing of Requiem. So the first edition of Requiem will include a short story about Alex. Boom. You is it only told get from it. his point of view, or is it just... I think it's just about him. Uh, yeah. It's, it's told, told from, told his from his Alex's point of view. Uh, yes. Oh, oh. Do you want to read the first sentence? All just right, do it, because that was sentence. a pretty good one. <laughs> Let me tell you something about dying. It's not as bad as they say. It's the coming back to life part that hurts. <gasps> feels! Oh, the feels! <laughs> I need to, like, regurgitate feels. <laughs> feels. Okay. <laughs> So the skinny is you want to pre-order because we can only, they're not guaranteeing it right, past this first I don't printing. How many we don't know how many there I are don't in, know the first, in the first printing. We can try to find that out for you guys, but the first printing gets the but Alex story. But you need to score it. Is this the only place the Alex story will be available? Do we know? Yeah, I think so. That's it. Not That's in, it. not in like the the stories thing. All right. Nope. You heard it here first. Get it on it, guys. Look at this. Look at this do, 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 do. Book shimmies. Book shimmy for Book requiem. Shimmies. So that was YA Jeopardy. Thanks for playing, you guys. Yeah. And congratulations to all of our winners. Uh, make sure you're following us so we can DM you afterwards. And next week, pretty sure, not 100% guaranteed, but pretty sure we will be having an authentic British tea time with Ooh. Sarah Crossan, author Ooh. of Breathe. She has offered to come in and join us for tea time and teach us how to be real proper and stuff. Like the Brits do. Like the Brits do. With their biscuits. Yeah. None of this, like, sweet tea stuff from the South. I love sweet tea. America. We're going to do it all British style. I love it. I'm excited. Yeah. So. <laughs> Lady Grey. Lady Grey and Earl Grey. I'm going to try not to and think we'll of a work on we'll work on our British accents. Yes. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. So we will see you next time, and thanks for joining Bye. us. Bye. Thanks for tweeting. We love you all. We love you. Mwah. Happy reading. Mwah. Good day. Bye. Farewell. Sayonara. Wait, no, that's not British.